Thanks for coming into my kitchen. What I want to do today is explain our solution for you, for your healthcare facility, and I want to talk about how we're going to solve these problems for you that we discovered in our assessment with you. First thing I want to talk about is the Kyocera Edemo process. The Edemo process is a philosophy that we've adopted by Kyocera, and basically what Edemo stands for is assess, design, implement, manage, and optimize. So where we are right now with you folks is we are at the design phase. Hopefully after what you hear today with us, you will be enticed to move forward with us to the next stage, which is the implementation phase. So the first thing I want to talk about is the solutions that we're going to put in place to eliminate these headaches. We're going to go to a standard platform for two Kyocera devices that have the same operational panel, the same interface, so your users will be able to use both devices the same way everybody can have the same skill set. So our first solution here that I've whipped up in my kitchen for you is for the admin staff up front, that's up front and take, doing patient intake, we are going to put in a Kyocera 3540 IDN, which is a black and white A4 MFP. The second solution we want to put in the back office, where the heavier, more intensive work is done, is a 4551 CI uh, full MFP, and that's a color MFP. So you've got a black and white up front, you have a color. Home point advanced. What this app does, it allows you to be able to scan to that network folder very easily and be able to create new folders and be able to browse other folders. So the confusion of where do I put this file on the server is gone because from the actual MFP, either the front office or the back office, they'll be able to open up that app, go right to that folder and see the other folders there and if you have a new patient that you want to be able to add you simply hit new and you can create a new folder on the fly right there. Problem solved. The second problem is the fax problem. Your fax server. None of your devices currently integrate with your fax server that you have. We're going to solve that problem with what's called AccuSender Fax. What's great about this it's going to directly connect the machine so you can scan your documents in through the actual AccuSender Fax app and it will act as if your fax is directly connected. It's going to take care of all the actual faxing. You can create customizable um, cover pages. Any other patient data you want, you can add to that. AccuSender Fax solves that problem. The iPad issue. Doctors are getting frustrated with this one. They're yelling at people in the office. People are getting upset. They don't know what to do, right? Apple's a problem. We're going to solve that two different ways. We've got Kyocera Mobile Print, and we've got Apple AirPrint. What's nice about both of these is the first one is Apple AirPrint is basically a standard across Kyocera devices. They're AirPrint ready, so your doctor or admin assistant when they are in the office and need to be able to print, since these Kyocera devices are air print ready, they can simply be in that patient record and hit print as if you're going to print to a printer. It will find that Kyocera device and print directly to it. Now let's say a doctor may, be, may have something in an email or a scan that may have gone to his phone um, through another application and he has that on his iPad from a different office and he wants to be able to print that out. He can not only use the AirPrint feature, but if he is, he can open up the Kyocera app and be able to print that attachment to the email through the mobile print app. Or let's say he's on a medical web page and he's looking at a medical page study. He can use that, that mobile device print to use his phone to print from that application directly as well. So you have two options on that. Simple problem solved, two different ways. your document management system for your EMR records. This is a problem because you have no connection right now. You've got users scanning to that messy network folder, downloading it to their desktop, 
making sure it's right, renaming the file, having to upload it back into your EMR with the right naming convention, how much time does that take? We're gonna solve this problem with DM Connect, which is another app that runs on both machines that will allow you to take your patient records, which currently already have barcodes that you showed me last week, in the top right-hand corner. What is cool about DM Connect is DM Connect can use that barcode, which contains your patient data, and when you scan it in, it is automatically going to take that barcode, take the data from it, and make that the file name in the appropriate naming convention of your EMR system. So what that means is you take that document, scan it in, it reads the barcode, it names the file patient name underscore date of birth, which is the schema for your existing EMR system, and it will automatically route it directly into that system. So the users no longer have to download it, have to rename it, have to upload it, gone. It's now automated. DM Connect. Awesome. The other issue that you're having is the big HIPAA issue. Oh my gosh, we've got users printing stuff off, leaving it on the printer. I'm gonna go to the water cooler. Oh, I forgot about that document. Somebody walks by, HIPAA violation. They come in the office, pow, $10,000, we're fine. Guess what? We can eliminate that problem with an easy step that resides in the current KX driver for both machines. This is a standard feature, it's already there. It's basically called secure print. Anytime somebody has a sensitive document, they can print it to a locked box on the device. That way, when they need to print it, they will, it will ensure that they come to the copier or the printer up front, go into the secure document box, find that job, and then print it as they're standing there. So the days of hitting print and letting it go and then catching it 10 minutes later and forgetting about it, gone. This ensures that you will not receive any more HIPAA violations. Last but not least, we have doctors who are getting frustrated with the staff. The staff's getting frustrated with them because no one knows how to use your current devices for very simple things. I get it. That's where we come in as a dealer. That's where Kiosera comes in as a great resource as well. We're going to give you extended end user training. We're going to give you follow-up training from the time that we install the device. We're gonna do quarterly account reviews to make sure everybody's up to speed, everybody knows what they're doing. And last but not least is the Kiosera machines have several features which are very helpful to users because right on the operation panel, there's a help button. You hit the help button and they have little video tutorials on the machine which show you how to do very basic things. Second, if you have a common task that may be a little elaborate for somebody that they want something stable, duplex, hole punched, you can create a short program key, which we will do for you at the time of install, which we can use that program shortcut, put it right on the home screen, and name it whatever you want. So if it's called Betty's Copy Job Every Friday, we can name it that, it's right on the home screen. She presses that button, all the settings program in, she drops her documents in, hits start, job is done, doctors don't get frustrated, everybody's happy.